So parents can provide very important feedback and answers and so forth during daily life when these daily opportunities, teaching opportunities arise, but most parents don't know what to say. That's the key. They get asked, but they don't know how to deal with the situation. So if a child asks in the store, mom, can I have this? And the mom's harried and rushed and trying to get food for dinner. And she says, no, you know, what do you think I am? Made of money? I'm, I'm not a, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. Well, that is not, that's not a teaching lesson. That's actually creating a very negative experience. The child's request is not being respectfully addressed. And um, nobody feels good about it afterwards. And the child hasn't been empowered to do anything to achieve what they're after. Now, everybody, we all have desires. That's, that's what keeps us alive. And so if that parent instead had have said something like, you know what, it's not on my list, I'm not going to buy it for you, but if you'd like to have that, let's talk, you know, let's write it on your wish list. Their wish list is very powerful because it allows them to decide and determine what things they want to choose to buy. Write it on your wish list, and then on the, on the way home, we'll talk about some ways you can earn the money. So their, their desire has been addressed very respectfully. The parent has not given in and bought them the item, but it's a very positive learning experience because the child's just seeing that they have control of their life and the choices they make.